The Mumbai International Airport handles 925 to 950 aircraft movements on an average every day on a single runway. Any flight arrival and departure is called air traffic movement and the airport allots slot for each movement. These slots are divided into hourly basis. So Mumbai Airport had an approved schedule of 46 slots per hour in peak hours and 44 slots per hour in non-peak hours. London's Gatwick Airport, which also has a single runway, handles up to 60 slots per hour on a single runway. The government's latest directive requires the Mumbai Airport to cancel two slots from every hour between early morning to midnight. So going by 20 operational hours for the runway, the airport has cancelled 40 slots which means 20 arrivals and 20 departures. And when we put that together, makes it 20 flights in a day that have been cancelled. The government says Mumbai airport suffers from congestion and excess capacity on its runway, which leads to airspace congestion. Experts say the runway congestion issue began after the onset of fog in North India that impacted flight movements. For instance, flights that delayed their takeoff from the Delhi airport due to weather conditions landed late at the Mumbai airport and when one flight arrives earlier than planned and lands later than its schedule, it has a cascading effect on the rest of the air traffic movement. But the airport uh, has to accommodate flights that arrive early or late, further throwing its slot planning for a toss. So there are times when the airport might have to handle 36 flights in an hour as against 46 due to late arrivals, but that would mean 11 extra flights in the next hour causing congestion at the airport and also forcing some planes to wait in the airspace until the runway clears up. And it's not just the weather, experts say with several Indigo, Spicejet and Go First planes out of service due to different issues, Fewer aircraft are catering to a higher passenger volume and that could also be affecting the airline's arrival and departures. Mumbai Airport had handled over 1,000 air traffic movements on the 9th of December 2019, which is four years ago. It broke that record on 11th November 2023, hitting 1,032 flight movements. So, it may not just be excess capacity, but also irregular flight arrivals. Now, how will the government's move impact the airport and airlines? The airport will lose uh, aero and non-aero revenue with 20 flights cancelled every day. Airlines will have to refund money to passengers or reschedule their flights. Passengers will have lesser options to book flights and reduced flights with high demand could also push airfares higher.